Welcome to the Fermented Homestead. If you're new here, my name is Anna. And this is Robert. Hi. And today we are going to be replacing our sink. We This is the sink that actually came with our house and it is terrible. It's, it could be, it's not terrible, but we really don't like it. It's just a very basic, very shallow sink. And the faucet is horrible. The faucet has probably about three inches of clearance in here. And then it just like it shoots out of here like the force of a fire hose almost. So when we moved in here, we actually bought a new sink and we just haven't actually replaced it. Today is the day it is raining outside. We can't really do anything outside. And so today we are going to actually come in here and replace the sink. So we have no experience with plumbing whatsoever. Robert has a little bit of experience and he has done uh, some work on like a bathroom sink and fixing that, but that's it. And I don't have any whatsoever. So what we have to do in here is we have to come in here. We have to pull this whole thing out right here and just pull it out. It should just pop right out, hopefully. I think there's some clamps or something underneath, but I'm not super sure about that. And then under here we have, I don't even think you can see, but let's get some stuff out of the way here, shall we? We have all these pipes and everything underneath here, obviously pipes, it's the sink. So we have these two th spouts. There's one on each side that come down to this and connect in this little center piece right here. And so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna pipe it together and we're gonna have it just be right here. And if we're gonna pipe it into one P-trap under here and replace it. And so another reason that we're replacing this is that it leaks it leaks a lot we don't actually know where the i don't know at least where all of this water is coming from you can see it's filled up to here this is a full-size hotel pan and it is i think it's a four inch one and so it is just it's huge and so we need to replace it obviously <laughs> we're going to bring you along and in a couple of minutes from now we're actually going to have a really cool story about how you can watch a bunch of YouTube videos and replace your sink and everything's gonna be okay. Or we're gonna have a really crappy story where you should call the plumber instead of trying to do it yourself. So <laughs> we're gonna bring you along, show you everything we're doing, and you will know the answer to that question here coming up pretty darn quickly. So I got another really cool thing. I think I mentioned it in the last vlog that I had and I ended up actually getting it in the mail. It is my wide angle lens. So I wanted to show you guys what we got, what uh, what it looks like. So here you go. So that's the wide angle lens and I really like it. I've been playing with it just a little bit. And so I'm pretty, pretty stoked about that. And uh, so we should be able to get much better shots and not just have, you know, or waste of below and cooking scenes and all kinds of weird funky angles and shots and stuff. So hopefully this lens will be able to help with that. Uh, we shall see, but uh, we're gonna go ahead. Robert's gonna make some lunch for himself and then we're gonna get started on the sink and I will bring you along and show you everything that we are up to today. Sorry. So now we're getting ready. We got the water out of the bottom here. We're just covering up the base here. We're gonna try and save the, um, the decking that's underneath here. And so now we're just getting ready to rip this sucker out. Um, so let's do this. So before we do anything else, we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna try and dry fit on the, um, the pipes onto the actual sink. So I'm gonna try and show you guys as much as I can, but you gotta remember this isn't an instructional video. We're just kind of showing you if somebody who has zero experience can actually replace the um, sink. And then yesterday while I was at work, Robert installed the uh, the faucet onto the sink. It didn't come installed like that. And the faucet that we got came without any instructions. So he figured out how to actually get this thing installed on here without any instructions. And then we took it apart and I was like, I did not understand how he was able to figure that out on his own, but he did and he got it all figured out. So now we're ready to go with just the sink and installing it and all the piping. And we also have to replace all the, the nozzles that are underneath, not the nozzles, but the, the um, water shutoff valves and stuff like that. Okay, so 
You gotta take the putty. Okay, so then you just take a big glob of it. And I don't know if I have enough, but we'll find out. And then you just kind of roll it out in a big old log. Ah! Long enough to go around this thing. And then you connect it together here. See? And you just push it up against here. See, just like that. And then you put it in here. Got the wrench and he's just gonna be tightening it up on there. And we're just gonna wait for it to just gonna ooze out. Like all of it's just gonna center, ooze center out. I don't know, it just looks fine, it's hard to see. Okay. So these fancy things are all installed. We made sure to get the ones that had the deeper baskets, just because we don't have a garbage disposal and we're not gonna be getting one. And so I just wanted to have the deeper baskets in there just to make it less frustrating not having a dishwasher or a garbage disposal. And so you can see you got it all installed here. And so it just hooks up onto here and the dishwasher hooks into this pipe here. And then this P trap here is gonna go, we're gonna figure out some way to angle it because the out pipe is like right about here on the wall. And so we have to connect this little P trap here to the out pipe in the wall. So, I'm just trying to get it all set up here. And, believe it or not, I thought you had to actually like cement all of these things with like putty stuff or that with uh, like this kind of stuff. But it turns out you don't. You just use these gaskets and so you can remove them. I thought that was pretty cool. So we're just dry fitting all this, making sure it fits and making sure we got the right stuff before we actually rip out our old sink. We made sure, I made sure to get all the dishes done this morning and the dishwasher's done and clean in case we maybe have to go a couple days without a sink, but hopefully that won't happen. So we have to act, we're replacing the little, the shutoff valves that are inside of, um, under here, they're plastic and they're just old and the plumber that, re that installed our dishwasher suggested that we would replace them. So while we're in here, we're going to do that. We need to turn the water off to do that. So we can't just turn the water off under the sink. We got to find like the actual house shut off valve. We never needed to find that before, so we're in the process of finding that. Ha! Ah, there we go. This thing is cool. The big span. Ah, it's still going. So we got the water to stop. Well, Robert got the water to stop. I kind of stood here and watched until it stopped. Flashlight. 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 So the water's off and now we're going to try and do something. Yeah, I'm going to do something. Okay, just get more clamps. I'm hooking everything. So we got the sink out, now we just got to do a little bit of cleanup. Which I think I'm going to grab a vacuum to get this thing back in. Oh, 
Okay, so we got that huge pipe that was in here. Let's see if I can show you. We got that huge pipe out of there. We had to ha hacksaw it off. We had to go to the store and get a hacksaw, a PVC hacksaw, and we got a new, uh, whoops, and then we got a new uh, dishwasher pipe, a few other things. So we just got a couple of the pieces we were figuring we were missing. Now I'm just gonna clean all of this up as best as I can, and we're gonna fit the new sink in here and do all of the things. But I don't have water, so it makes it a little more challenging. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so we just got back from the store from our second trip to, to the hardware store, and we are so close to getting this thing finished. I almost taste it. So we just need to get this piece here, where am I at here? This piece here into that. And it, just the angle of it is all wonky. So we went to the store, went to Lowe's and the awesome dude at Lowe's helped us yet again and so hopefully we're going to get this thing installed um, and I'll show you once we actually do. Yes. We got the pretties installed now. The sink is Sorry. on. That was fine, it just startled me. So now we're just gonna go through and it's all plumbed and it should be working correctly. Did you unscrew it? Yeah. Careful. So now all we're gonna do is we're gonna silicone uh, under here. If I can get this thing off. I'm gonna have to start at this end right here. Then I'll lift it up. I gotta cut it. Did you find something to? Yeah. I just had to put the last touches on the okay. side here. Copy powder, silicone. Yeah. Go ahead and do this back, and back. Right here. Then I'll lift up, lift it up, and get the sides in front easier. I'm just gonna go through and clean up all the silicone. We have a nasty old horrible towel we don't want to use anymore. Well this one's already got silicone on it, may as well use this.
Got it all put together and found a leak. Now the inaugural. Does it work? <laughs> no pipes underneath. No pipes. So we got the sink all installed. It's really weird. Hopefully that'll work once the water pressure builds back up in our uh, pressure tank. But we got it installed and we have an awesome faucet and a big deep sink that's flat that we can actually leave stuff in here without it falling over and breaking. And I'm so excited. So I just wanted to make sure that, or I didn't want to make sure, but I just wanted to share with you guys that with a few YouTube videos and about four or five trips to Lowe's, you too can install a sink and rewire and replumb everything underneath there. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, we did it and it's awesome and it's fantastic and you're going to be able to see this in upcoming videos.